Hello friends, welcome back again to engineering tutorial. Here we are going to discuss the second question related to block diagram reduction. Here we have another block diagram given to us where we have to find out the transfer function of the overall uh, transfer function of the system and uh, we are going to apply the rules of block diagram reduction to do so. Okay. So, like uh, I said before in the first question, whenever you start solving a question related to block diagram reduction, you have to first identify the point where you can start with, where you can start solving, where the rules of the block diagram reduction are applicable. So, here if we focus on this part of the block diagram, G2 h1 and this summing point. So, here this is connected in negative feedback. Okay? This is the forward path transfer function, this is the feedback transfer function, this is connected in negative feedback. So, it will be g2 by 1 plus g2 h1 using the negative feedback transfer function that rule. Okay? I have already discussed about the rules of the block diagram reduction in separate videos, actually two videos where I have discussed in detail all the basic rules, actually there are 12 to 14 rules of block diagram reduction, so you please check out that video. So here we are going to apply that rule. Okay. We are going to convert it into a single block which is G2 by 1 plus G2 H1. Okay. Now, these three blocks G1, G2 by 1 plus G2 H1 and G3, they are connected in cascade okay they are connected in cascade so they will be multiplied together the gains of each and every block will be multiplied together so again we can combine these three blocks into one okay will be G1, G2, G3 by 1 plus G2, H1, one block. We have combined them into one block, okay. Now, here, uh, there is uh, no possible way in which we can proceed forward because there is no such uh, way in which we can apply the rule of block diagram reduction in this portion. Because of the presence of this summer and block, things are a bit tricky. So, if we try to interchange their position, that is, if we bring the summer, this summer, here and then we combine these two summers, then I think we can uh, do something with this block diagram. If we bring the summer here and then we have to combine these two summers, then uh, I think we can solve this. Okay? So, let us uh, bring this summer in front of this G5 block. So, let us first understand how this thing will take place. Suppose we have this summer, okay, and we have a block. Let's say it is G, and we have two signals. Let's say this is A, and this is B. So the output here is the summer is A minus B, 
when it gets multiplied with this block the net output of the system will be a g minus b j. Suppose we wish to shift this summing point in front of this g block. Okay, So, let us uh, we have done that that is we have shifted this summing point in front of this. So, we have here g we have the summer here. So, here it is a g one part of the output we have achieved, but here it is only b. So, it, if we have to conserve this output a g minus b g if we have to retain the output we have to make some alteration to this signal b otherwise we will get the output as a g minus b which will be wrong because here the output is a g minus b g. So, here we have to make some changes so that we get a g minus b g. So, what we will do we will introduce a block here having gain g so that this output will be b g and the output will be a g minus b g. Okay? So, we introduce a g block here to which we gave the signal b and we got the output b g when it is fed to the summer we got the output a g minus b g. So, here also we have to do the same thing. Okay? We have to do the same thing. Okay? So, let us do that. Let us change this whole thing. Now, uh, in the question actually there is a H2 block here which I missed. In the question there is a H2 block here which I missed. I am sorry for that. I missed this block. So, now uh, we have to make the change. Okay? we have to take this summer point here. So, how we can do that? Let us see. So, first the G 5, then we have is the summer the summing point. Now, in order to retain the output we have to make some changes here at this point. So, we have to add the G 5 block here. We have to add the extra G 5 block here as we did here. We have to introduce a G block here so that when the signal B is given we get the output A G minus B G otherwise it would have been A G minus B. So, we introduced the G by G 5 block here and gave this output to this point. Okay? So, now these two blocks G 5 and H 2 are in cascade. So, we can combine it into 1 H 2 G 5 H 2 G 5 okay? Now, we have to combine these two summing points, okay? this summing point and this summing point. Okay? So, let us see how we can do that. Okay? So, let us say we have two summing points. Okay? In the first summing point, we have inputs A and B in this fashion. Now, the output of this summer 
is fed to another summing point okay so this is a minus b the output of the first summing point here a minus b plus c so the net output is a minus b plus c so this first summing point it represents this summing point here and the second summing point it represents this summing point so we can combine these two summing points into one in this way so this is here it is c this is here a and this is here b so the net output is a minus b plus c so we combined these two summing points in this way so we have to do the same thing here we have to do the same thing okay so we'll combine them together okay so let us see how we can do that so this so let us combine it into one summing point okay this comes here this g5 output it goes here and the output of this block it goes here okay in this way this is plus this is plus is minus so again if we wish to simplify it even further we can do it in this way So, in this way, we have simplified it. So, the next step again is to split this summing point into two parts. So, here it will be just the opposite, okay. This the opposite that we have done here. Here we have combined the two summing points, here we are going to split it. So, just proceed from right to left. So, we are going to split this summing point into two parts. So, how we are going to do this? Let us just see. So, we are going to split it in this way. Okay, this is CS. 
so we have split the two the summer into two parts now this is just like eliminating a forward path okay both the transfer functions g1 g2 g3 by 1 plus g2 h1 and g5 that in the forward path so they will be added okay these two parts first focus on this two blocks g1 g2 g3 by 1 plus g2 h1 and g5 they are fed to this summing point both in positive convention sign convention so it is they are going to be added the two blocks will be added suppose we have like this a connection like this this one is g1 and we have another g2 so the output and the input relationship C by R will be G1 plus G2. Okay, the output and input relationship will be G1 plus G2. They will be added. So here also these two blocks will be added. So we can combine them into one block. So it will be G5 plus G1, G2, G3 by 1 plus G2, H2. Okay. So we will also remove this somewhere. okay now this is a negative feedback connection okay g4 by h2 g5 so this will be eliminated as this g4 by 1 plus G4 H2 G5 okay so now these two blocks are connected in cascade here the rule the block diagram reduction rule which we used is this suppose here it is positive and this is let's say H and this is G. So it is a negative feedback connection. Okay, a negative feedback connection. A standard negative feedback connection. So the transfer function C by R is equal to G by 1 plus G H. This rule we have used here. Okay. So now the overall transfer function will be just multiplying these two blocks and we will get the overall transfer function because these two blocks are connected in cascade. Okay. So the overall transfer function will be just to combine these two blocks so the overall transfer function will be g4 into g5 plus g1 g2 g3 by 1 plus g2 h2 by 1 plus g4 h2 
g5 okay so this is the overall transfer function it's a big one so you write it carefully so that you don't make any mistake okay and then you can solve it further okay so this is the overall transfer function you just have to multiply the gains of these two blocks and you get the overall transfer function c by r okay so here we have discussed the second question related to block diagram reduction so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much